Okay, hopefully this will be super quick. Um, I'm going to be checking in to the, I think, February 8th branch, uh, this code. We're going to add K2 file. Uh, this is an interface. Let's go to the header. Allows you to create a file that gets stored in a table. That table is going to be called, is called file store. A lot of this is going to change. This is the very rough first uh, draft. I just wanted to kind of get something out there as a placeholder, prove that it could work. I'm not actually implementing anything from this yet, so it's going to change when I do that. So we have a table called file store. We can store a blob in. Uh, you can store the SQL, which may allow it to be automatically refreshed in the background. Uh, if you want to set up a refresh interval, that's not a feature I'm adding, but it would be pretty easy. I could just add a cron, a field to hold a cron expression here and have a job that checks that and uh, does a refresh on that data uh, any time that that is updated. Um, so we can create that file from SQL that gets stored in the table. We can get a row from that table very easily using the key that we generate for it. And then we can download, uh, call the download file. And uh, this is used to download it on a web page. Uh, although I've discovered that because there's already a plugin out there that does this, I probably will never use this. I'm not sure I want to get rid of it yet because uh, uh, maybe the plugin will break uh, and I'll need to use it. So uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do that yet. Um, we've also, as part of the default template, you get an app send email script. And it has kind of the wrapper for email. So like if you're using something other than Apex Mail Send, you need to change this code uh, in order that any existing application code would, that's calling App Send email, uh, either in the libraries or your code or app you're using or whatever, it would still work. So this is kind of the uh, abstraction of whatever you're using for email. So I've added an App Send email attachment, wrote a test. It does work. I did get an uh, attachment. Um, and this is all super easy. It was. It took a lot of research, but once I figured it out, it was really easy, and that blew my mind. Um, and then here's our test file. We're just creating a file. Uh, super easy to create files from SQL and store those. That's neat. Um, no advanced formatting, but that can be. There's ways to do that. Uh, that can be done outside of this old package. Like I said, it's just a placeholder for something I want to to have in place to use and develop on. And then we send the uh, email using uh, the file that we just created, grabbing it from the file store and passing in the blob mime type file name. There's some inconsistencies in mime type and file name uh, naming across what Oracle's doing and what I'm doing. I'm going to try to get some of those consistencies straightened out. And here is the demo. So download is my button. Um, you need to set like page always reload on submit uh, for this to work. And I, there was a YouTube video that I finally figured that out. Um, but uh, you, I can write the SQL, I can uh, give it a name, and then I can click download. It generates that file, puts it in the table, and then downloads it. Now, sometimes it opens and sometimes it downloads, depending on the file type. I haven't figured that out. There's a header, I believe. Oh, I didn't want to close that. Uh, that leads me to this. But then after doing that, I got it working. I immediately found this, which is much better than what I have. So this is what we're going to go with. And uh, let's just run this. So uh, if I click FOSS download, it actually gets all the files in the table because I don't have a where statement on it and uh, gives me a compressed file. That's really cool. Uh, I like that. And we're going to stick with that. So let's look at page designer very quickly. Uh, I've got some fields here. I've got my download button, got the FOSS download button. Uh, so my download button is says, uh, duh, 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 what? Um, Submit page, okay, and FOSS download is a redirect because we need to add a request header called FOSS download, and the process is drive off that. So here's the FOSS download. Uh, here's our SQL that hits our uh, file store table, super simple. Um, and we're just checking for request is FOSS download. And then if we go to uh, our processes, we'll see the process I wrote. This is my code. And we're saying uh, request does not equal FOSS, FOSS download. That's how we get one button to run. So this is what my code looks like. So you would, you have your data in a table. Uh, you create the button, submit page, and uh, you need to, uh, you don't have to create the file if it already exists. So all you need to do is call that download and reference the, the string. Uh, <clears throat> and 
and uh, you don't need to do the key to string if uh, key string to key string if you already know uh, the key. We're generating a new file and generating the key off the file name. Um, and that's it. Now with the FOSS download, uh, it needs to be, um, it's a before header uh, plugin process. Yeah, so uh, you just get those plugins and put them in and it works. So I'm not going to do much more else on this, um, but what blew me away really was this ability right here. So. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the, uh, the file name uh, there. I'm just going to uh, do select from dual. But if I want to do JSON, download, boom, I got valid JSON. That's amazing because I don't have to do a RESTful interface. I could just create a link to JSON and expose data, somebody's data. If I'm building an app that does something, that's amazing. This is, ama this is an amazing uh, power. Uh, I want HTML, boom. I mean, I'm not doing that. That is so, I'm, I'm doing it, but I mean, this is very little code. It's all happening in the background. CSV, um, we want XLSX, and that will download. You can open that. Uh, this is an amazing way to expose data. Over the years, if I had this available, I mean, this would have been earth shattering uh, in what I could have done. Uh, you know, found ways to do things, but. This is amazing. So uh, I just love how easy it is to generate different files and expose them so easily. Um, so this is really cool. And uh, we'll be checking this code in right now uh, as it is. It's not. It's going to change a lot. So it's, it is going into a development branch uh, February 8th. All right. Thank you.